Alright guys, I'm back with another unboxing. I have four packages here that I've been waiting a while for that decided to all show up at the same time. And I decided to do a show an unboxing of all of them since they're all kind of related. Um, I got figures in all these boxes. I usually don't do unboxings on my figures because I usually get one or two in the mail. But since I've got so many at once here, I decided to do an unboxing. So I'm looking to, I'm going to start with the smallest ones and work up to the biggest ones. This first one, I'm not, not sure who made it. I have to research it after I get it open. Um, but it's an old creature from a Black Lagoon figure. Uh, the creature from a Black Lagoon is probably my favorite Universal Monster movie and character. Um, I was just scrolling through eBay and I came across an auction for this guy. And I placed a bid not expecting to win, but nobody else bid on it, so I got it for like dirt cheap. Um, which is really surprising because you know, usually Universal Monster stuff, you know, there's a big market for that kind of stuff, but I guess not anymore. How much did they wrap this guy? Jesus. Yeah. And this is a Burger King toy from 1997. That's pretty cool. Wish they made toys like this now. Yeah, the little little guy right there. Let me see if I'm gonna stand up. It's got a button on his chest. I don't know what that does. All right. Will he stand? God damn it. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, God damn it. Come on, little guy. There we go. Alright, that's the first figure. This next figure here is a new figure. Um, it's a NECA alien. It's a re release of an older figure that they've re released for the anniversary of Alien. I got it off of Akari. This is based off of the prototype suit for the movie. Because they were originally going to have the alien be translucent like his dome. But obviously that doesn't work out with somebody inside the suit. So they scrapped that idea. And got my hands on this figure here. That oh, lid's open. So there he is right there. Son of a bitch. Um... I think I want to take him out of the box, even though I really love this box. It's got a vintage design based off of the old toy released in the uh, 70s. The um, box is a little bit damaged, so that's another reason why I want to take it out. But I'm going to keep this box, and I might put him back in here. Because I really do love the design on this box, and I would like to display the box. Uh, but for now, I'm going to display him loose, since the box is already damaged and open. Um... I'm also considering getting the new bloody Xenomorph. You can see him right there. And he comes in the same type of package, so I might just keep him in the box when I get him. Uh, hopefully that'll stay. Okay. Alright. Next box is from Big Bad Toy Store, which is probably one of the best places to get your figures. Uh, so there's a lot of bootlegs on eBay now. It's been a problem. Especially with Alien and Predator, there's a lot of bootlegs of those. Because um, I stopped collecting figures for a while, and I missed out on quite a lot. And then when I tried to get the figures I missed out on, it was, I was having a hard time because of all the bootlegs that were out there. Put that right there. Alright, first figure is a Haya Toys. Alien Covenant Neomorph. Um, even though this is a smaller scale than the NECA figures, if you've seen Alien Covenant, you know when these guys are born, they start rapidly growing. So this can still work with the NECA figures. It's just a Neomorph that isn't fully developed yet. So I got that. And I do plan on getting some of the other Haya toys, Alien and Predators, but not a lot. Maybe just one classic alien, one classic predator to have in that scale. Because I do collect not just neck alien predators, but a lot of alien predator stuff in general. And I got another predator here. This is the 
Fugitive Predator um, Lab Escape version. I got the regular Fugitive Predator and I had no plans of getting this guy. But I really love the way this guy looks unmasked. So I decided to get this figure to keep unmasked. And I probably want to put the unmasked head that came with the other Fugitor with the open mandibles because I really love that head sculpt. So, got that. This last box here came from my good friend Blake. And we got a lot of stuff in this box. Like, a lot. Mostly aliens. Pretty much all of it is aliens. But there's a Jason figure in here. And he said he's doing some extra. So I guess we'll just see what else he threw in. Trying to be careful when I cut myself. Oh shit, he threw in a uh, Death Trooper from Star Wars. Yeah, I, I collect Star Wars figures too, and most of my Star Wars collection is Troopers, so he fits in real nice. Do you want to stand? Nope. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to take this out. we got the Alien Big Chap. But this is the exclusive version that's the glow in the dark green. Um, it's obviously going to be displayed loose. Um, it doesn't have the boxes damaged. It doesn't have all the stuff inside. Um, which most of my figures are display loose anyways. But I should be getting a second one of these. I'm going to keep them in the box. So. There. Alright, we got a shit ton of other stuff in here. Holy crap. Um, we got a lot of Kenner aliens in here. Like, a lot. Um, shit. I'm just gonna move these guys back. And then put Kenner stuff here in the front. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Stay. Alright. He's probably not going to stand up, so we're just going to let him lay down. He's going to take a nap. Alright. I can't remember the names of all the different aliens. I can't remember his name, but I know this is supposed to be the flying alien queen. Um, the other parts to her in the box somewhere. Forgot the name of this one. I'm going to look up the names of these guys. Um... Yeah, if you're not familiar with these, back in, like, I think the 90s, Kenner released a toy line based off of the Aliens movies. And they did a bunch of crazy, wacky designs. And, uh, they're pretty, they're pretty cool, if you're, especially if you're an Alien fan. Uh, this is, I think, the Bull. Bull Alien. How does this feature work? Pretty, pretty neat. All right. Yeah, she's not going to stand up, so we'll put her back here for now. We've got the Gorilla Alien. I have I have a lot. I have a handful of these already. Uh, but this is the repaint of the Gorilla. The original Gorilla was like a metallic blue, and this one's a purple color. This one's one I'm excited for. Here we got the Snake Alien. Based off of the Cobra with this part here. He's pretty cool. Oh, that's really neat. I'll probably get the NECA version of this eventually. Because um, NECA did updated modern versions of a lot of these, including this one. I really want to get this one by NECA. Um, oh, is that another Gorilla Alien? This is the original version. So I got two of these now. Please stand up. Come on. There we go. Uh, here we got a big ass face hugger. And here's the original Alien Queen that Kenner released. I have the uh, 
I have the other version, the updated ver not the updated, but the later release of the Queen with uh, the Hive display stand. Here we got the Rhino. His arm broke off. That's unfortunate, but I can fix that. If you included the arm with it. And I plan on getting the NECA Rhino that they released, but I'm getting the um they released one basically for this paint job. They did a re-release basically for the different paint job. That's a bit of a silver color. That looks more like something you can actually see in the movie. Uh, this guy's bizarre. I had the original version. The original version of this guy was black, like an actual xenomorph. This is the closest Kenner xenomorph you can get to. Something you see in the actual movie. The original release that is as black. Then they re-release it in this bright blue, which is just really bizarre and weird, but kind of cool. Put him there. And this is probably the second closest xenomorph you can get to the movies. This is the uh, scorpion xenomorph. He resembles the xenomorphs in the uh, second movie, Aliens. He's pretty close to the ones you'd see in the actual movies. Fix his tail there. Uh, how many more have we done? We got a lot. Holy shit. Here we got the uh, Mantis Xenomorph. How this would actually work in reality in the movies, uh, I don't think that would, I don't think we'd ever see a Mantis Xenomorph in any of the movies, but he's a pretty neat figure. Move his feet around. There we go. Uh, we got another. We got another bull here with a different paint job. Let me move his feet around. Another bull. Okay. Oh, we got another scorpion. So I already have one of these. Now I've got two more. So that's pretty neat. Um, the scorpion has. A Play feature. You press a button. God damn it, the button's stuck. Well, that button's not working. Maybe this one will work. There you go. You press the button, he explodes. Alright, here are the parts to the Flying Queen. We have her tail, which we'll peg in right there. And then we have her wings. Assuming this is the right way. Or is it this way? No, it's this way. Come on, there we go. Press this button on the back and she flaps her wings. Hell yeah. Um, I'll put her right. She can go right there after knocking the blue guy down. Alright. We got, we got a few more here. Uh... I believe this is what they call the crab xenomorph. Uh, <laughs> a lot of these designs are just crazy, but they're, they're fun. They're fun. Right. We got his leg. I'm going to glue that back on. Then we have two more that are the same figure, just painted differently. Um, I believe these are called the cougar xenomorphs. Uh, these are pretty close to what, what the uh, dog xenomorph was like in Alien 3. We got those two. And the last figure I have here. Let me make sure there's nothing left in here. Now we got everything. Okay, last figure I got. I don't collect a lot of six scale figures, but I do like, I would like to get more six scale stuff. And here we have a sideshow. I think it's a uh, part three, Jason. Uh, he doesn't have a stand or weapons, but that's fine. Um, I have an extra machete he can have, and hopefully he'll stand up on his own. His mask is lopsided. His head's a bit stuck. I have to fix that. There's Jason. Let me put his mask back on. Nobody wants to see his face. So yeah, I don't have to play around with him, get him posed up, but yeah, I got it. Six scale Jason for my collection. Um, this is one hell of a haul. Uh, that's a bit of an understatement, but I got a lot of stuff today. Like, a lot. Uh, 
he's not going to stand up. God damn it. We're going to lean against that ox right there. And then we got this death trooper here. Um, let's see if I can get him to stand up. He's going to go right there. All right. That's everything. That's uh, this is quite the hole here. Um, I don't have to rearrange my room to make space for all these Kenner aliens. I have spaces for all these other figures here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm give you guys a close up of these. Um, if you check the description out below. You see my links to my Etsy store, my Teespring. I have a Discord server, all that shit. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I have another video coming soon, painting a hockey mask. So, yeah. Someone's shy.